So in the South, we feel like your boots are kind of like your calling card. You know, what they say about you, what you are, what you represent, and even what you do. Right. So, you know, every Southern person's going to have pretty much a closet full of them. Um, yeah, I don't think you can get away with just one pair of boots. Right. You're going to have to have one for every occasion. It's kind of like a tool. So during this time of reflection while we are at home, <laughs> we noticed we have a lot of boots. But they serve a lot of purposes. That's a right. boot is a tool. Um, and you don't need one boot to do everything because it's just it's not possible. So I've realized that. If you could carry boots in your pocket, would oh, you? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Absolutely. They're essential. I mean, I wear boots every day. You know, with the fire department, I have a summer boot and a winter boot. Okay. One is waterproof, one is not. Oh. And then I have the fire boots. So that's three I have just at the station. Those don't come home at all. Right. And then doing electrical work, I have a pair of rain mud boots. Mm -hmm. Then I have my normal everyday boots. Mm -hmm. So that's five pairs of boots. Just for work. And all I've done is go to work. Now, you got to have your church boots. I do. They're not quite as comfortable. Um, church shoes are never comfortable. You know, they're not, but they do have a cross on the toe of it. Mm -hmm. I believe 100% this is what Jesus would have worn um, <laughs> had he been a southerner, but I don't believe he was. So so he wore a different type of shoe. He wore But uh, <laughs> you got church boots. Then I actually have a pair of sentimental boots. Sentimental boots? I do. Okay. These, Most women carry, you know, have sentimental jewelry and things. Don't these were my dad's. And um, I you, wear them. Can you fit your Absolutely. Put in there? I can. You can. I remember wearing these as a very small child. Aww. I'd walk around wearing dad's boots, and I still wear them. Every once in a while, I'll wear them to an important event. My camping boots. Now, hold on a minute. Why has this got two different color strings on it? Well, it tore. Okay. You can um, see. So, I wear these when I split firewood. They are still toe, and I don't know if you can see it right there, but... Somebody got a little too close to my toe with a chainsaw. Who would have done that? And that steel toe saved my toe's life. <laughs> so yeah, yep. you got your steel toe, which I use when we process firewood mm -hmm. or working with the tractors. <laughs> now these two are identical. All right, so then we got my favorite pair of boots. Okay. And... Now, okay, you prefer the square toe. I do prefer a square toe. Okay, is that because um, your feet are large? I don't, I don't know, I, they're wide. So I feel like they're comfortable, but I think they just look better. Um, More manly-ish. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But these have begun to break down. They're looking kind of rough. Mm -hmm. So I decided to replace these with the same boot. Oh, the exact same boot. It wasn't broke. Okay. I realized I have a lot of boots, and I was kind of feeling uh -huh. like I had too many. And then we looked at Monica's closet. Listen, I don't want to talk about it. So why don't All you take it mine... on a tour of your boots, lady? Okay. So these are my around the farm muck boots for a dirty job kind of thing. They're rubber. So it's kind of like a rain boot. Yep. They're from the Walmart and I think they were what, like 10 bucks? Quite possible. Maybe 20 at the most. And I wear these all the time. Would you recommend them? Absolutely. I don't even know what brand they are. Rubbermaid? I don't know. Let's see. Is rubber... Rubbermaid? <laughs> I don't know. Is Rubbermaid a boot maker now? These are probably the Walmart brand, if I'm being honest with you. I really don't know. Cheap. Cheap. And Cheap they're, Walmart rain boots. They're great. I can throw them away when I'm done with them and not even feel bad about it. I have my working with, these are a better toe on these. So if we're working around the farm, it's not a steel toe, but they're definitely more sturdy than my rubber boots. So I wear these and they have better traction on the bottom of them. Used to, they're kind of getting worn. But are these, they waterproof? They are sort of waterproof, semi-waterproof. Water, semi -waterproof. water, water resistant. resistant. Um, anyway, so I wear these around the farm for, you know, everyday jobs. So are those like your overalls boots? Yeah. These I have had forever. These are, these are my church going boots and I really need to shine. They look real bad actually, but um, I actually do not wear these for farm work. These are strictly for fashion. <laughs> So these are your cowgirl boots that you wear out on the town right. or to church. Right. I look like I'm a horse person, but I'm really just a donkey person. <laughs> so, I'm pretending to be a horse person. Even though they're shaped like a triangle and my foot is not, they are quite comfortable. You would not, I mean, of course I've worn the heck out of them, so they look kind of sad. But Now these are my snow boots. These are still fresh as a daisy. Because it uh, snowed like... <laughs> 
four times there's in the past not, seven years. There's not even any like wear on the bottom of these. <laughs> so yeah, these, I would probably, if you actually live in a snowy climate, not recommend these at all because they are white and they'd probably be really dirty if you actually got some snow. But I think I wore these maybe once this whole winter. <laughs> And that's because they were calling for snow. In the blizzard of 2020. <laughs> 2020 blizzard. They called for snow, so we had to get out yeah, of our snow gear. I was so excited to put these on. But man, they feel like they would be so warm if we ever got a winter. <laughs> Just, these are my fancy. These are for like, you know, going out on the town, if you if you will. Would you wear those to a wedding? I'd wear these to a wedding. Okay. Or funeral. <laughs> And then these are my other, I don't even know. These are just, if you're wearing brown and you want to look nice and you need a little bit, a little bit of a heel on you, it, these are. To me, that looks like the most uncomfortable it shoe. It, it, it really. But they're camo. Well, that's why I bought them, really. Well, y'all, we really appreciate y'all watching and we hope y'all are doing okay wherever you are. So I'm wondering what kind of footwear you guys have. Um, you know, do y'all wear boots? Do you have a bunch of pairs? Do are you just have one pair? Heels. Are you business shoe people? Sandals. Uh, tennis shoes. Yeah. Let us know. I need a pair of white New Balances. No. I am there. No. I'm 37 now. No. I need, I need probably three pair. One pair that's brand new white. Those are for fresh flipping burgers. I need one pair that's got a little bit of grass stain on them. Those are this season's lawn shoe. Mm. And then I need one that's pure green, which yeah. you've been wearing Last for season. years. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next week. Y'all take care. Bye. Bye, guys. I'm struggling. I don't feel like my mask matches my plaid. <laughs> or my camo. I can't hug. Can't, I can't handshake. handshake. We're all kinds of messed up. I don't know what to do. Our southern traditions have just gone out the window. You feel like it? We're trying to cope as best we can, but I'm fogging up my goggles, my glasses. I can't see. Okay, seriously. <sighs>